Summer's key for us. It's a key beer selling season. Yeah. And some of the brands that we have here today, um, we have Budweiser Freedom Reserve, which is actually with the Budweiser brand, but it's inspired by George Washington's recipe that was found in a military journal. And it's great, great for pairing with obviously burgers, which is key for, for July 4th. So for everything else George Washington did, he also knew how to Brew you had a brew beer. And it was yeah. a good formula. Which is pretty inspiring, right? It's a great it, formula. It is inspiring the more you learn about how brave that guy was. And, and you know, he, he'd ride straight into where the bullets were, and they just, it was like there was some, like, halo around him or something. <laughs> exactly. He, he, was, and he, he was the father <laughs> of our country, and makes you wonder whether something big was really actually happening there. Uh, transcendentally, doesn't it, uh, Andrew? Do you believe in stuff like that? Transcendentally. Transcendentally. He was yeah. just wondering. <laughs> Never that. mind. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, how about what else? Yeah, so uh, transcendental uh, meditation. Once you exactly. Yeah. Yeah. exactly. Metaphysical, you know, yeah. spiritual. So we have yeah. the Bud Light so Orange we also, here. <laughs> we, also have, we also have Bud Light Orange, which is, which is Bud Light, and it's brewed on real orange peels. So unbelievably refreshing, uh, great tasting, and obviously it's hot right now. It's particularly hot in the Northeast, so it'll be great for July 4th. And then kind of moving around, Michelob Ultra is, is one of our key brands right now. It's the fastest growing beer brand in the United States for the last 12 quarters. Because and it's, it's low carb. It's low carb, it's lower calorie. And what we've done is we've actually taken it uh, one step further with uh, Michelob Ultra Pure Gold and made it with organic grains. So not only is it low cal, low carb, also organic. How low carb? It is 80, under, only 85 calories. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I know wow. that's that's yeah, so it might be the right yeah. thing for Jack. that yeah, for me that exactly. is it well you know there's the liquid there's, there's, just that's the growth. there's the mass that's of like liquid a quest there. bar but the, cha the challenge is that's only for one how right. many of those are you going to <laughs> right. consume yeah no, I got you I got you aside from this though you also have spike seltzer we also have spike seltzer yes yeah. so How's seltzer both alcoholic and non-alcoholic is exploding right. um, really? and really so good. we we brought it into alcoholic seltzer a couple of years ago and spike seltzer essentially invented the category gluten-free um, and it's a it's great it's refreshing also it's a little bit of a, of a different taste profile is that like the old zima or no yeah. no very different very very remember different. zima is that, uh, that, that was a beer yeah. i think it, it was, 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 a, beer. Long, it was, it was like, a long time ago it was like drinking sprite but it was a beer with, though i think like i yeah. remember yeah it was like mid 90s right mid 90s mid 90s yeah exactly i remember Long time it's, ago. It's, so there's nothing, carbonate, seltzer, uh, now I'm hearing if you want to drink water and really be healthy, that seltzer is not the ideal. Yeah, it's sodium, thing. a lot of sodium. In seltzer? Yeah. Am I not supposed to drink? I've been drinking. I have too. Um, bubbly, free. the Pepsi yeah, one, Pepsi. and La Croix or La Croix or whatever. Yeah, independent pronounce. right now. Am I not supposed to drink that? I don't know. I, I think it's what, you, it's, what you, it's what you want. I drink it like it's water, though. Yeah. Is that a problem? I think it's a little bit different than water, right? A little bit of flavor, so a little how about, bit more uh, stuff, you, but you not as much as soda. You still have aluminum cans? We do still I have know aluminum. You do. So what, so what about not. the trade? What about the tariff? Uh, I mean, we're not we're not huge fans of what the administration is doing. In that um, respect. In that respect, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right. And if you look across the beverage industry, we think it's about a three hundred and fifty million dollar incremental cost to the right. industry. And for us, with, within beer, we think it puts at risk probably about twenty thousand jobs. Beer if, sales overall, though, are are down. So when you launch these sorts of offshoots or seasonal flavors, does that simply cannibalize? Your market? I mean, does it draw away from somebody who might otherwise buy Bud Light anyway, and so now they're going to buy Bud Light Orange, or do you it, get an incremental buyer? No, we think if innovation hits the right way, it can be anywhere from three to five percent of the industry. Um, and so when we do these things, we actually look for them to be incremental and not cannibalistic to the existing portfolio. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.